most of your sales will come from only a few affiliates. Ever heard this one? Well, it is a myth. It's a lie. And today I'm going to bust this myth and destroy this lie. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy podcast. If you want to grow your income, serve your tribe, and enjoy all the benefits of affiliate marketing and having your own affiliates, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Now let's get started. So this myth is so pervasive. The, the pervasive, that is a hard word for me to say, that most of your sales will come from only a few affiliates. It is so pervasive that I literally heard one of the top names, someone you, I guarantee like 99% of the people listening know this name. One of the top names in the internet marketing space claim this statement as fact from stage. His live event claimed it as, as fact. In fact, the exact quote, and I, I got the replays of somebody. I, I love the guy. I got the replays, so I went back and uh, listened. The exact quote he used is this. 90% of your sales will come from your top three to five affiliates. Now, let me be clear here. This is nothing more than a cop-out. It's an excuse to not work with smaller affiliates. An excuse to go out and get your three or four best buddies and a few of their like other people, call it a day. But I go back to what I said in the last episode. My hunch is that by listening to this today, you aren't one of those types of people who's content just to sit back and run your little insiders club with a few affiliates and that's it. Am I right? So in a moment, I'm going to share some cold, hard data in this episode that completely destroys this myth. Before I get into those, I want to share two things with you. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to share two sub-myths that make this a big myth seemingly so true, but also remind you that this episode and this whole little mini-series on these affiliate program myths, uh, these killer myths that people believe about affiliate programs, it's a part of our How to Find Affiliates, the Ultimate Guide series that we're doing. And you can find that at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now that when this thing is done, like it's already amazing. It's about halfway done. Uh, we've got tons of video lessons, podcast episodes, bonus posts, PDF downloads. And I mean, gosh, there's so much stuff. Um, we're only halfway through and it's already the, I, I, it's already the best training there is on finding affiliates. So it's going to get twice as good because we got so much more to add. We've got more live lessons coming up and just so, so much more. So you want to check that out, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliate. So I mentioned that there's two sub myths that make this big myth that most of your sales will come from only a few affiliates true. The sub myths, number one, is you have to personally know all of your affiliates. This says that you have to have a personal relationship with every single one of your affiliates. In other words, you need to be best buds. If you are going to run an affiliate program that is consistently growing year over year, though, this is simply not possible. It's not possible to know every one of your affiliates. I've When you look at like the big programs, we're talking the programs I've run, tar, uh, not Target, um, I consulted theirs, but I didn't run it. Uh, Adidas, Shutterfly, Michael Hyatt, you know, companies like big, massive affiliate programs. I didn't know 5% of the affiliates. Maybe with Michael, I knew 10. I might've known 10. That's it. That's all I knew. I didn't have a personal relationship with anything, any more than that. It was impossible. At Adidas, we had a hundred thousand affiliates. At Shutterfly, I think we had close to 50,000 affiliates. You can't know all of them. The second sub-myth is that small affiliates are not worth the hassle. That is not true. Let me tell you what, why people think this is true. I think it's not working with a small affiliate. Somebody who, well, quite frankly, is where I was five or six years ago. It's where you might be today. Because I'm going to invest a disproportionate amount of time with you to get what? One sale, two sales, no sales, maybe three or four. It's not worth the time, they say. But here's what I know. If I help 100 small affiliates today, 
If you fast forward three years, 20 of those affiliates are out of the, they're out of the game. They're done. They're doing nothing. Okay. No loss. I didn't make that many sales from them anyway. Maybe two sales from them combined. 50 of the affiliates will have grown by 50%. Marginal growth, not that big, 100% maybe, you know. Okay, so they go from one sale to two. But what if they go from an average of, say, a half a sale to one sale? That's 25 sales. Okay. And it's still not that impressive, right? So what do we, that's 20, 50. 10 of the affiliates will grow by 200%. Hmm, nice. A little bit of, okay, now we're getting some good growth. The other 10 affiliates will grow by three or 400%. Ah, now we're starting to really get some return, right? About five affiliates will grow by 500, 600%. But those other five, and it might be three, it might be seven. They're going to grow by 10,000, 20,000%. They're going to go from having an email list of 1,000 to 180,000 in three years. Why? Because they hit Oprah. They got featured in a major magazine. They, they figured some stuff out. And here's the thing. They will be loyal to you. If you help them when they're starting out, they will be loyal to you. They grow and you will create this army of affiliates. You'll create this massive army of affiliates. So let's look at what happens when you, you know, the 80-20 rule says 80% of your results will come from 20% of your affiliates. When you ignore that and you create an army of awesome affiliates, let's look at what happens. So Michael Hyatt, um, one of his recent launches we ran, keep in mind, this was a massive seven figure launch featuring some of the biggest names in the internet marketing world. Okay. We're talking the leaderboard who had, here's the top you know, seven for you. Jeff Walker, Sally Hogshead, Ray Edwards, Pat Flynn, Jeff Goins, Stu McLaren, John Lee Dumas. That was his leaderboard. Like. Holy freaking crap, right? That's a leaderboard right there. These are some of the biggest names in online marketing. And yet the top three, Jeff Walker, Sally Hogshead, Ray Edwards, only accounted for 14% of sales. His top 10 only accounted for 27% of sales. Top 10. 27%. But the myth says 80, 90% of your sales will come from your top three or five, three to five. But his top three only accounted for 14%. 500 affiliates made at least one sale. That is an army. There's no risk of losing. You know, if our top affiliate didn't promote that year, the next year, for example, our number two affiliate didn't promote. Didn't kill us. Wasn't that big of a deal. In fact, if I look up and see, you know, of that top seven, three of the top seven didn't promote the following year. And yet it was a bigger launch. How is that possible? Because we had diversified. And of those 500 who made one sale, I think it was like 540, like 500 of them were bigger the next year. About 500 of the 540 promoted again. We created an army. Ray Edwards, you know, nearly the same number Uh, Numbers is Michael, his leaderboard, Jeff Walker, Jeff Bullis, Don Miller, Michael Hyatt, Dan Miller, Craig Ballantyne, Chandler Bolt. A lot of recognizable names. His top three, 19% of sales. Not 90, not 80. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial here. Or Yeah, what are those called? Infomercials, yeah. Not 70, not 60, not 50, not even 40, not even 30 or 20%, but 19% of sales from the top three. Only 34% came from the top 10. Only 34%, just barely over a third of all sales came from the entire top 10. We had 16 affiliates who doubled their sales year over year. Two of our top 10, Ernie Svensson, Ernie the attorney, you've never heard of him, more than likely. But he doubled his sales year over year. Mike Kim more than doubled his sales year over year and beat Jeff Walker. Why did I spend the time with him the year before? Because I know the principle here. He was a small affiliate the year before. Finished in like 24th place. He had like three sales. He's a friend of mine, so I happen to invest a lot more time in him. But he more than doubled, well over doubled, and won the thing. Won the thing. 
the next year. So this myth that you need to know everyone, you need to know everyone. You need to be able to, um, you know, only a few of your affiliates are going to come from So this myth, this myth that most of your sales will come from only a few affiliates, it is absolutely not true. And those sub-myths that you need to know all of your affiliates and that it's not worth working with small affiliates, those are not true either. So this was our third myth in this quick little series here. And tomorrow, we're going to bust myth Number four, that you have to hire someone to run your affiliate program for you. It is not true. So if you want to know how to find the right affiliates for your business, uh, whether you have an affiliate program yet or not, go check out our How to Find Affiliates, the ultimate guide at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates. We're adding stuff there, like probably right now, as I'm recording this, we're adding stuff there. So go check it out, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for listening today. Remember to check out all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing at theaffiliateguy.tv. And if you have a question, you can ask it at asktheaffiliateguy.com. Who knows, might end up being featured on this podcast.